Hey YouTube, Roaring Flame Cat here. Just a little down in the dumps today, so I thought I'd just talk to the camera and see uh, what I could go about. A um, little offset, but that's okay. I'm just a little frustrated with where what I'm doing with uh, my jobs and stuff. Uh, right now I'm just a cashier working, and you know it's it's good work, but I've been there a year and a half, and I still feel like I'm at square one. People who have been hired, you know, because I always pay attention to the new people who come and go. And somebody just got hired about a month ago, and they've already been promoted to the next step up, which is a head cashier, which handles more of, like, uh, line management, getting price checks, that sort of thing. So I'm just kind of spinning my wheels. Um, so I've been looking around for a new job, just touching base. But as I look for a new job, it's like, you know, it's, I've discovered that basically everybody wants to set the bar really high. Artist jobs are really difficult because you have to be a graphic design artist. Nobody really wants to hire a traditional artist, which I am. So I go and I'm basically out of the question from the get-go. Not that I can't draw with the digital arts, but um, you know I just don't know how to use Photoshop. And I have a friend who's been willing to teach me Photoshop for the longest time, but, you know, I don't really want to acquire these skills if I'm not going to necessarily get a job out of it. It's kind of like I want that guarantee of having a job rather than getting these skills that I'm never going to use. Because at the end of the day, I don't have Photoshop. So I'll learn the skills and I'll get the tools and I'll know how to use all the stuff and then I'll just forget how to use it anyway because I can't, I don't have the tools at my, at my own disposal, I should say. So I then decide that I'm going to float around on Fur Affinity because, you know, people are always buying art on Fur Affinity. There's always somebody out there who's going to want to throw some money. And I've been doing some working, some looking around on the forums. And it's like, you know, even then nobody wants to really hire me. My prices are cheap and reasonable, and I'm willing to do a lot of different styles, techniques, basically, meh, uh, catering to the customer and you know I'm still not getting anywhere with that either so I decided maybe I should just you know start making videos on YouTube but I don't know how to do like the let's plays because I have because I love I love video games and you know how like Markiplier, PewDiePie you know all the great YouTuber gamers you know they're you know how they record their stuff I don't I have no idea how they're recording their stuff I have no idea, and I'm pretty sure that I could find out somehow, but it's almost like, you know, it's, it's like, it's just difficult. It's just difficult, because they don't have the right steps, they don't have the right tools. It's like I'm always a day late and a dollar short for everything, and no matter what I do, no matter what I say, it's always like I'm doing the wrong thing, or I'm doing the right thing, and, you know, I'm in the wrong spot, and it, there's always something. So... I figured today that I would just be, sorry, I keep itching my eye. I don't know what it is with this eye. Um, I figured that I'll just start making videos and hoping that something catches, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just down in the dumps today. It's cold today, you know. Once it drops below 60, I'm like, yep, nope. I prefer to have it nice and warm, you know, and most people are like, nope, nope. But... Yeah, it's it's cold, it's gloomy. I brought all my plants in, so just in case it got frosty tonight. Um, I have one white tomato, and I have a giant cucumber, so I'm glad about that. You can hear my clock in the background. Made a YouTube video about that. Um, you can find that down in uh, down in the description if you want to know. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just just kind of down. I'm spinning my wheels. I don't really know what I'm doing with my life because, um, you know, I'd love to be able to support myself off my art. I'd love to. I'd love to be able to just wake up, do what I love, and have people want my art for the sake of wanting my art, but I need that financial security. I need to have, to be able to know that I can afford my house at the end of the day because I can't just live off of my husband's income, you know, because, of course, even though this place is very nice and reasonable, you know, we're still paying 800 and some odd dollars for just a one bedroom apartment, which is pretty nice considering that we're in the suburbs of Chicago because I, I looked for a long time and the apartments are always in about the thousand dollar range, you know, one bedroom, 
apartments and stuff. So the fact that we got under a thousand dollars, I'm not staring that gift horse in the mouth. But in the same breath, this can't exist just on just on my husband's income alone. So I can't I can't necessarily just be like, well, I'm quitting my job. I'm not happy. Because I've done that before, and I always do that. I get unhappy, and then I just make brash decisions, and I quit my jobs, and I'm like, whatever! But I have to take the step back and realize that, you know, that's not the correct way. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And I keep doing that, where I just quit my job, and then I end up jobless for half a year or, or more. And then that doesn't work because then that puts a whole hell of a lot of strain on Brian, you know, since he's like, I can't do it on my own. And I don't blame him, you know, he shouldn't have to do it on his own. But I can't, you know, I'm so frustrated that I'm just sitting here spinning my wheels, you know, twiddling my thumbs. And, you know, I, you know, I really just want to start doing like Let's Plays. That's what I really want to do, like all on the Nintendo 64 and stuff. And then, and everybody's done a Let's Play on this stuff, but I don't really care. You know, I want to, I want to do it because I want to do it. I want to have fun and, you know, have people enjoy my art because, or not my art, but my games and my personality. Because when I get in front of the camera, I tend to be more moot because uh, it's just me. It's just me sitting here. And if I was interacting with you guys, and if I had, if I had a base to know that you know, you guys were at least there cheering me on, that would be so great, but I don't, I don't even know if I have any subscribers. I've got, I've got one, but there's one I know for certain. I don't know about any of my other friends, but they're, you know, they're friends, and it's like, you know, even more, I'm spinning my wheels. It's like, you know, I want to be able to have the fan base, and I want to be able to have people like me for me, and, you know, I, I just want to be able to be myself. I'm tired of working these jobs where it's like you have to have your business attitude and you have to have your personal attitude. And you don't bother. Nope, don't confuse the two. And it's always like when I let my true personality slip out, it's like, you know, ah, put the brakes on. Nope, no, nope, can't do that. Like, you know, I was getting yelled at the other day because two guys uh, were coming down the lane of the register and they were clearly node, node, knew each other. They were you know, hey, how's it going? I haven't seen you forever. Oh, my God. You know, they were really, like, happy to see each other. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of said under my breath, you know, maybe. Because, like, uh, the one guy said, what are you doing here? And I go, maybe he's stalking you. <laughs> and, of course, my store manager was walking by, and he just, like, kind of stopped on his, you know, stopped on his heels. And he was like, oh, oh, my God. And the guys didn't even hear her, but, you know, in that situation, it was really a joke. It was a flippin' joke. I can't believe that all of my jokes, like, whenever I do them passive-aggressively and on the side, like, they always get taken the wrong way. And I'm tired of that. I'm tired of being a, of mooting myself so that everybody can be, you know, oh, don't say anything bad. Well, tired, you know, because we're in the 21st century. Like, people shouldn't be offended by the shit that it comes out of my stupid mouth, because who really cares at the end of the day? You know, at the end of the day, I'm still just a butt. I'm still just a butt nobody. But, uh, yeah, tangent, tangent rant aside, um, you know, I would, if anybody knows how to set up so that I can record, because I just got Destiny yesterday, and I'm really having a lot of fun with it, just fucking around, you know, I'm just having a whole shit ton of fun just doing stupid shit. But I'd like to be able to share it. And I know that you can have, you do like the sharing with the PlayStation 4, but I, I want to do like the whole playing of the Let's. So, you know, if somebody out there could really help me get the first step forward, I would really appreciate that. Um, but, you know, that's really about all I have to rant about is I'm spinning my wheels and I don't want to anymore. So, I thank every one of you for at least spending nine minutes and 29 seconds with me. You know, thanks for listening to me and my stupid rant. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next video.